Hi everyone and welcome back to my Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel, in this video, I would like to talk about the rising cost of living in Canada stays high in July. Over the summer, Canada has remained expensive for both Canadians and newcomers alike, for newcomers especially, this means spending more time saving and establishing a realistic budget before arriving in Canada, whether it is for work, to study or as a permanent resident, many key indicators over July show that, while some inflation is slowing, the cost of living remains high in Canada and is likely to remain so for a while, now, let talk about inflation up 3.3% from last July. According to the Bank of Canada, inflation in July 2023 was up 3.3% year over year. This follows a 2.8% increase in June. Earlier this year, the Bank of Canada projected that Canada would reach the targeted 2% level of inflation by the end of the year. However, stronger spending than expected has kept inflation high, and the bank has responded by keeping interest rates high to curb spending it will take time for Canada's economy to feel the full impact of higher interest rates. Canada's current overnight interest rate stands at 5%, the highest it has been since 2001, the cost of groceries is also elevated. The most recent Consumer Price Index report from Statistics Canada shows an 8.5% increase for July compared to last year. However, this is actually lower than the year-over-year -year increase for June, which had a 9.1% increase. Prices are high enough for a recent Statistics Canada report to note that higher prices are reducing the amount of food that consumers buy at the store. It says that, as of early 2023, household food volumes had declined in six of the past eight quarters, and were unchanged in the remaining two. Additionally, food banks throughout Canada are reporting record levels of demand. The report also notes that the price of fresh fruit rose 4.1% in July compared to the previous year, but this increase is lower than the 10.4% increase in June. It says that the slower growth for July can be credited to a 40% price decrease in grapes, newcomers may find certain provinces more affordable, depending on lifestyle and situation, if home ownership is a priority, it could be worth considering moving outside of an urban center or even Canada's more densely populated provinces. The Atlantic provinces, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador and PEI, Quebec, and the Prairies, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba, all have an average price lower than $500,000. The Atlantic provinces, as well as Saskatchewan and Manitoba, all report an average home price of $400,000 or less according to CREA. In the end, I would like to request you please like the video and subscribe Canada Immigration Explore YouTube channel and also share this video to your friends and family members for Canada Immigration Updates. Thank you, see you in the next video, take care.